Yo, what is up everyone? Tweak Reviews here. I'm back with a brand new video. This is my top 10 tweaks video for iOS 9.3.3. So let's get right into this. Alright, so for my first tweak I have for you guys, this is called App Admin. What this allows you to do is downgrade any of your apps to the previous versions from the App Store. So let us let me show you guys that. So open it up. Right here I have Instagram. Just hold the open menu right here where it says open. Hold it and a new menu should pop up. You can do downgrade, block all updates, and downgrade the previous. So if you click on downgrade, it will pop up all the known versions right here. Choose whatever one you want, and it will downgrade for you. So, also, it has a tweak for, like, certain applications that have tweaks for it. If you click on that, it will show you all the tweaks that are compatible with Instagram. And there's quite a few. You guys, and then, see, you open one up, and you could just click open, and it'll open in Cydia. Also, you can configure your settings in here. Go to updates and then top left corner. The settings right here. You can manage all your blocked updates right here. Also, downgrade options, long press. Just make sure you have all that enabled and you are guys are good to go. So, let's get on to the next one. Alright, for my second tweak we have here called CC clean and what this does for you is it is a tweak that allows you to remove anything in your control center that you do not like so you can hide literally anything so just make sure you search it and you should already have modimai.com um, repo so just search it up and it should pop up let me go into the settings to show you what you can configure. Settings CC clean is right here. I took off the AirDrop AirPlay because I don't ever use it. So I enabled this to remove and then I go into let's hide crap. And then I enable it again. And then make sure you respring. And then it should take effect right after. As you guys can see, I do not have an airdrop. So, yep, that is CC Clean. Alright, for my third tweak I have here is called Color Badges. Right here. You do need to add a repo for this. I will put that in the description below. But it is the X Herald repo. And it is compatible with iOS 7, 8, and 9. And basically, it just colors all your badges, as you guys can see from the screenshots below. Whatever, like, the color of the app is. So, see, App Store is blue. It will colorize the badge to being blue. I do not have anything else with notifications. But if you do have anything that has a notification on it, it will take the color and effect as it would with the App Store, as you guys can see. That is my third tweak all right so for my next tweak i have here this one is called haptic feedback and what this basically does is you can enable anything you want so like lock lock button if you click your lock button it will like vibrate to whatever you set it to or volume buttons it will vibrate even the home button also, you can use it for your keyboard. So, let's hop into the settings. Haptic feedback. And I do not have it enabled right now. But if I did, I usually just put on my keyboard. Or music controls too. But whatever you guys like. And you can also do the vibrate vibration intensity and the duration of it. And then just make sure you save changes in the spring. And you guys are good to go. So let's get on to the next one. The next tweak I have for you guys is a must-have tweak for me. If you love music, you're going to want to get this tweak. This tweak is called Link Tunes. 
being tuned for iOS 8. I know it says iOS 8, but it does work for iOS 9, as you guys can see right here. Um, you want to add this repo, Xherald, right here. And, as you guys can see, what it does is it puts a downloader in your iTunes. So once you open up iTunes, let's just open that up. And you go to, now you have a new little icon on the bottom right. Just click that. And all you got to do is search up a song, whatever song you guys like. And it has all of his albums that are connected to iTunes. So if I were to want to get any song, just click on it. And it should come up with a bunch of links. Choose like the top three or four. Usually those are the best quality sounding. But if, if you're like low on storage, you just want to scroll down. Find one that does not a lot of megabytes. And then just download just click on the link and then click the download button. You also could play it if you want, but I'm not going to do that for you. You guys just check it out. That one is called Link Tunes for iOS 8. All right, so for the next tweak I got for you guys, this is for your messages. And if all you like to customize your messages and the way it looks, you're going to want to download this. It's called Messages Customizer right here it is by modemai so you should already have this repo so what you basically can do is you can do like the colors of like the sms imessage you can change like the backgrounds you can change like the tint colors of everything i know it says compatible with ios 8 and 7 but it does work for ios 9 i tried it out I'm going to show you that right now. Alright, so as you guys can see, my background is a picture I found. I don't remember where, but I found it, and it's a basketball hoop. I put that as my background. I also changed the navigation bars to dark, and I changed the bubble co colors a little lighter, like a lighter blue. And I left the, the ones that you get, like received, I left those the same. But yep. You also can change like the text like See it says red you can change the color of that too. I will show you that in the settings Let me just hop over to that Messages customizer right here. Make sure you enable it. I have purple for the SMS bubbles. I Have I messages a light blue Other people I put white And then you can also change the app tint I just left dark blue background this picture right here and then info text you can change that to whatever and that is basically it for this tweak all right so for the next tweak if you are a Spotify user you're going to want to get this tweak which is called spotty life from you guessed it my favorite repo, X Herald. Basically, it gives you unlimited skips, removes ads, extreme quality unlocked, and make sure you download your Spotify from the App Store. So just search up Spotty Life and then download it. And I will show you my um, Spotify is on the latest version, which. I will search for you guys, Spotify, there it is, it is on the latest version, as you can see there is no update, 5.7.0, this is a free tweak, check it out, I will show you guys how it works, alright, so once you open up Spotify, you can use the scrubber, and you also get unlimited skips on the radio. If you search up anyone, you can search them up and it will just play. You can save into your library. It does not work offline though. So keep in mind, you have to have a Wi-Fi or cellular connection. But you can move back and forth. You can scrub through your music. 
you can change it to whatever song you want. Unlimited skips, as you can see. Also, you can go back. You also can go to your library and go to another station, or you can just go to your like save songs. You can click on them. You don't have to click shuffle. You can click on anyone you want. You can search up an artist, whatever artist is your favorite. I like NF. He's probably my favorite rapper. Um, just click. You can go to his album, click on any song you like, and choose it, scrub through it, save it, whatever. And, yep, thanks for watching this. So let's get into the next tweak we got up. Alright, for my next tweak, I got, this is called Spotlight Be Gone. Which, just search it up, Spotlight Be Gone. You do not, you do not need a repo for this. Basically, what this does is it takes the spotlight search away, because I, I really don't use it for anything. I don't know if you guys do, but I really don't. So, as you guys can see, I have it enabled. If I swipe to the left, nothing happens. If I swipe down, nothing happens. So, let's go into the settings. Scroll down to spotty light be gone. I took both of those off, and then... Make sure you enable both of them. If you if you like one of them, like the swipe down, then just unable it and then it will spring. But I like both of them, so I just keep both of them on. So the next tweak I have for you guys is called Switcher Flipper right here. As the name says, it reverses the switcher instead of being on the left. It's on the right now, as you guys can see with the screenshots. Um, I don't really I don't really like it on the left side, so. I've got this tweak so it could be on the right side. As you guys can see, it's on the right side. Um, you do not need to enable anything. As you guys can see, there is nothing to enable. All you need to do is download it and it should work right as you respring. The last tweak I got for you guys is Tag Explorer. This is probably like the best tweak to get if you are a music person and you like to change up the song, like the song's name, artist, or gear, or make the song explicit. So just search up Tag Explorer and you're going to need to add the X Herald repo. I'll put that in the description again, like I said. It is compatible with iOS 9, 8, 7, and 6. So just go, let's go into it. Right here. It has all my songs. Just choose any song you want. Say you want to change the artist, you can change the artist. You can change the album. You can put the genre. You can make it explicit. So I'll make that explicit. And then click save. And then click yes. Then open up the music app. And now you see it is explicit. Right here. Now it's explicit. But yep, that is basically it for that tweak. It just allows you to change like the name of the artist. The name of the artist. The year. The track number. Anything you guys want to change is with this tweak so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget subscribe like comment i will start making more videos for you guys so thanks for all the support recently and this is tweak reviews i'll see you guys later peace out